With all the marking out completed, I'm just about ready to start cutting the inboard dominoes and I'm taping the two boards together to make sure they stay aligned as we need to move both sides of the carcass under the rail together. With our pencil references, it's easy to cut the narrow mortises on the outside edges and wider mortises on the inside. Using the carcass as a straight edge, I'm marking the rear dominoes on each of the shells, then cutting them at the bench with a scrap of MDF to help speed things along. And with all the mortises complete, I'm cutting the shelves back to the correct depth on the MFT, and then cutting the groove in the carcass to take the 6mm birch ply back, making three passes to roughly half depth and checking that the ply fits. As we're about to start sanding, we'll lose all of our markings, so I'm putting a pencil mark on the right front domino mortise of each shelf as a reference. Then with the tape removed, the joy that is sanding can begin. I'm using a random orbital sander and starting with P120 abrasive, working my way through to finish with P320. Next up I'm cutting the birch ply for the backs and checking the fit with a temporarily clamped together carcass. And with that done, we can start the glue up. I'm using my usual 10 millet poly 10 PVA to glue the shelves and the dominoes in place. And with the domino mortises referenced off the front edges, all of the shelves will align perfectly with the front of the carcass. Oh yes, they will, without any extra work. And even with 10 dominoes to align, it all goes together remarkably well. I only needed to use the fine adjuster once or twice before we can clamp it all up and put it to one side to set. So that's our two little CD stores unclamped. I'm uh, just going to give them a final sand just to make sure there's no glue squeeze on the top and bottom of things. Uh, clean up any sort of slight pencil marks or whatever. 
then we'll get a coat of wax on them. Uh, I'm going to keep the the backs separate now. For now, they'll just slot in uh, when everything's done with either a little squeeze of glue or a couple of little pins at the top or something. But we'll to to make it easier to apply the wax finish. Uh, I'll keep the backs off for now, just so that we can get in there all around. Uh, so apply a coat of wax on that. Let them settle down overnight, and that'll be us done. I think. So uh, thanks for the magic of video, it's now the next morning. The air's pretty thick in here actually, <laughs> it's all, the, all the fumes from the Bezax. Smells really nice, but if I start rambling just to phone the authorities and get me some help, uh, I must open the doors and windows and bring my meter in here as well actually, see what the VSC's content is actually like. Uh, but that's it uh, for these little uh, bookcases, shelving units. Uh, I've slotted the backs in very quickly this morning. Uh, they're a pretty snug friction fit to be perfectly honest, but I popped a couple of pins in there, a couple of little 21 gauge veneer pins just to secure them. Uh, and that's kind of it really. Obviously these were made for CDs but to fill a space so the spacing on the CD uh, sized shelves is a, is a little bit off and this one was obviously made to match this one as well. Uh, but other than that it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. I think as I mentioned at the top of the video you you could make these a variety of different ways. I made this into a domino project because it suited me, but obviously you could make this with dowels, you can make it with biscuits. You could just glue the shelves in, to be perfectly honest, and they'd be plenty strong enough just for CDs. Or you could put a couple of nails in or even through dowels so that they show at the outside, make them a nice contrasting colour. Uh, and that would be really good. And again, in terms of tools and machinery, obviously I used a sander to make life a little bit easier, but I used a track saw for everything else doesn't have to be a festival. As I hope I've shown, you can get perfectly good results from something much cheaper and much simpler. But that's this project completed. I don't think I'll need a bigger van <laughs> to deliver this one. Uh, this is probably being installed around about the time that you see this video, so there'll be no installation uh, video for this one. Not that there's much of an install anyway. Uh, I might get a couple of pictures up on my Instagram, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll uh, see those pictures there. Uh, don't forget, one of the best ways not to miss one of my videos is to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell and you'll be notified whenever I put up something new or whenever YouTube decides to tell you about it because it's a little bit flaky, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I want to take a second as well to thank all of my Patreon supporters. Uh, my Patreon supporters really do help keep the lights on here by their uh, support through Patreon or indeed through direct donations. There are links to both of these ways of supporting the channel. Uh, in the video description below, as well as some affiliate links to any of the gear that you might have seen uh, during the making of this video, plus uh, any of the camera gear as well that I use for the filming of this video. But that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Don't forget, the best way not to miss one of my videos is to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell. Then you'll be notified. Oh, damn. I want to take a second just to thank all of my Patreon supporters. You guys really do help keep the lights on here, and I really appreciate all the support you give me. Uh, you can support me directly, uh, either through PayPal or through Patreon at 10 Minute Workshop, uh, patreon.com. I want to take a second to thank all of my Patreon supporters, wonderful, wonderful people that you are. Uh, they really, you guys really help to keep the lights on there. And to my uh, Patreon channel uh, down in the video description below, as well as to uh, any of the tools that you might have seen in this video. Uh, this project was pretty simple and pretty straightforward. It was all done with the track saw pretty much. I'm going to do this whole thing again.